$150 on Craigslist today. So the next time Mike Clark starts comparing you to a cheap mule, you will know that that's really not much of a compliment. <laughs> I love the laugh. You can't wait to see the curl again. Do you enjoy the weight room? Yeah, it's it's good. it's a uh, the weight room up here is you know it's it's good. It's not a, I mean obviously not a good time, but it's a good atmosphere, I guess. Is it different from your college experience? Uh, a little bit. I mean, we just you know anywhere you, anytime you go somewhere else is going to be a little bit different, but uh, it's 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 unique, I'll say. Now coming out of the draft, and I remember I was back in Bristol, Max, and you were projected maybe a late first round guy. I know Alex Mack at Cal, very good center that you uh, went against a number of times in the Pac-10. Bring us back to draft day. Were you a little surprised that you fell here? And then when the Northwest team, the local team, the guy that grew up in Hawaii, played at Oregon, uh, got that call from Seattle, relive that memory a bit for us. Uh, just stress, man. I mean, I was, uh, you know, sitting back in Eugene with, uh, you know, family, friends, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, when, when it's going on, you're not getting picked. You know, it's, it's obviously pretty stressful. But, you know, I guess once, uh, once it all happens, you know, you, you pretty much forget about all of it. And uh, I guess the fact that I was picked up also by Seattle, you know, so close to home, college, whatnot, it, uh, you know, it made it worth, you know, worth the wait. Who, who have you been talking to since you've been here? Who have you been relying on for help? Who have you gone to with questions? Who's helped you out? Um, it just in general. Sure. I mean, I you probably uh, I, again Nick, my uh, my friend Nick Reed was drafted here also from Oregon. So we've kind of uh, just kind of been you know going back and forth, kind of I guess sharing in our uh, experience, I guess we could say. But uh, probably him would be the, the guy that... How about veteran-wise? Is there anybody who, I don't maybe not took you under his wing, but has been there to answer questions or help you out or embarrass you at the uh, right appropriate time? Uh, you know, I talked to my, uh, my uh, college coach uh, quite a bit, and, uh, you know, some of the uh, some of our assistant coaches uh, back at uh, back at school who kind of been in the NFL and kind of know a little bit of what's going on, been in training camp and stuff like that. And where are you contractually right now? No idea. Uh, I think the, uh, the, the talks, uh, contracts... Talks uh, start up maybe beginning of July, uh, right around the fourth. So I'm I'm not quite sure. Well, I think when we come back from break, Mike, sure. we have Mo Kelly on, the guy mm -hmm. that you're familiar with, the vice president of player development, the guy that is taking rookies under his wing, literally, and flying you to Florida for a rookie seminar this week. We had him on, maybe play back some of what he had to say and hear from your perspective, a rookie walking in. To everything that's heaped on your plate in the NFL. Yeah, there's that one huge statistic that we talked about yesterday, and I want to get your thoughts on it when you hear it as a rookie who's now getting worried that you're going to go through this whole thing. We'll do that next as Max Unger sits down with us. Seahawks second round pick here on Brock and Salk, 710 ESPN Seattle. Did you have any